Hi, this is Maria. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about how we can work with the energy body to heal challenging or problematic emotions. So in modern energy we recognize that our emotions are feedback from our energy body. Our emotions are really our internal guidance system. And so we want to acknowledge how we're feeling in the emotional body. We know that the emotions are in the body and even though oftentimes we may disassociate for ha from how we're feeling in our body, they are in our body. So part of this process of learning how to monitor, manage your emotional body is to first acknowledge the sensations in your body and acknowledge your emotions. So in my practice and what I've come to learn for myself and with the people that I'm working with, that I work with, that that can often be a challenge for us, that we tend to disassociate from how we're feeling. We tend to um, tell ourselves that we shouldn't feel a certain way. We tell ourselves that only certain emotions are okay. I would love to offer to you the understanding that all emotions are energy and that if we can hold a space for ourselves without judgment and accepting how we're showing up emotionally, we can start to evolve those emotions. We can start to heal those emotions without recognizing how we're feeling, how the emotions are feeling in the body, we are not able to move, evolve the emotion and heal the emotion. So the first step in dealing with discomfort or emotions that are feel problematic is to first embrace them completely, trying to not judge them, observe them, and notice how they feel in the body. Then the next step is to recognize where you are, recognize that these emotions in the body are because the energy is not flowing and that with intention and attention and applying some very simple modern energy techniques, modern energy tapping being one of them, you can learn to evolve those emotions so that you're no longer feeling low vibration emotions like pain, discomfort, distress, but higher vibration emotions like happiness, freedom, and joy. So that being said, I'd like to introduce you to the Sue Scale. This is the Sue Scale. And this scale was created by Sylvia Hartman in 2002. And it's a simple scale, and yet in my mind, it is an amazing scale. It's, it's just an amazing little tool to recognize where you're, where you're at and how you're feeling. You see that we start, we, the beginning of the scale, if we're in distress, is negative 10, and it goes all the way to positive 10. And so, when we're feeling in the negative realm and we're feeling, and the pictures are just so wonderful because they really speak a thousand words, we've all probably recognized ourselves in some of those places. When we're feeling here a negative 10, we're often completely numb, shut down, maybe depressed, and the energy is not flowing. When we start to move and get some movement in the energy body and the flow begins to start happening, we start to wake up and oftentimes we might even feel anger. However, it's, it's a wonderful thing because we're not putting the anger there, it's just that we're stirring the emotions and anger is much better than depression, although sometimes the people we live with are not always in agreement with that. 
but you're waking up, you're waking up your emotions, you're waking up your energy, you're starting the flow, and it has to start somewhere. So as you're moving through and you're evolving the emotions by raising the energy flow, by de-stressing the system, you can ultimately neutralize the painful and discomfort. Once the energy is, when, once the emotional body, or the physical pain even, is neutralized, then we want to bring in more positive energy. However, with modern energy tapping, we can start with applying positive energy even down here. So for instance, if you are feeling high on the negative scale, like maybe a negative seven or a negative eight, you're very stressed. There's a lot of stress in the energy body and sometimes we don't always even know what we need to heal ourselves. You know, the same thinking that got us there is not necessarily going to get us out of there. So if you're applying modern energy tapping, you wanna go very broad. For instance, if I'm feeling stressed and triggered by something, I might just start tapping on, I want relief, or I just want to feel better, or I want some ease and flow, or de-stress. So as you start to acknowledge where you're at, you tune in to the sensations in your body, you tune in to the emotional body, you can just start to increase the flow of energy by applying modern energy tapping, and as you start to do that, the energy will start flowing. As you start to f energy starts flowing, you see the thinking cap comes on. You get become a little bit more thoughtful. And here's around where you start to know what it is more specifically that would help you to heal. Maybe you're feeling frightened and you need some more courage. So you can be tapping on, I want more courage. Wouldn't it be nice if I had more courage? And as you continue to apply modern energy tapping, you will evolve the emotions until you're starting to feel more positive, you're starting to feel more flow, you're starting to feel the courage, you're starting to feel the confidence, you're starting to feel all those positive emotions that are going to enable you to move into your life in a, a whole new way. So I love this Sioux scale. I can talk about it forever. I really feel like it is such a powerful tool in just helping us to acknowledge where we are in our emotional body. And we can also measure physical distress also because oftentimes when we are feeling physical discomfort and distress, it, <clears throat> it's an indicator that there's some emotional blockage. And even if the problem is purely physiological, there's oftentimes an emotional component to it. So moving the emotions, clearing the discomfort and the distressing emotions will oftentimes help with the physical pain, or it might clarify the next best action for you to take in order to heal the physical pain. So the Sue scale is a really important tool in helping us to recognize where we are in the emotional body. Sue stands for subjective units of experience and some of us, many of us, can be any one of these throughout the course of one day. Sometimes we're generally in the negative realm. Some people are generally in the positive. If we are generally here, Again, it's not a judgment. It's not that you're not good enough. It's not that you're not spiritual enough. It's not that you're not doing the best you can. It's that your energy is not flowing. So moving the energy, allowing, increasing the flow of energy, looking at what can bring your energy up will start to help you to feel much better. And of course, Modern energy tapping is a tool that I love so much because it is really user-friendly and um, it's research-based showing that when you do apply this technique, it's relaxing the amygdala, which 
stops that fight flight freeze response in the body and and gives you a clarity of body of mind to help you to get clearer about what it is that you need to continue your healing process however we know that it's not raising our energy and increasing the flow of energy through the body is not limited to doing something like modern energy tapping. Many of us like to dance, many of us like to garden, people like to cook, whatever it is that makes you f sing, makes your heart sing, playing with the puppy, enjoying your children, whatever it is that brings your energy up is a wonderful, a wonderful opportunity to help you to start moving your energy, bringing your attention to something that increases the flow of energy, moving your body. What thoughts are you thinking? Because our thoughts can, of course, create an emotional response in the body. And so if we're thinking thoughts that make us feel down or low vibration, it doesn't help the healing process. So choosing thoughts that are uplifting, choosing to think about experiences that feel positive can oftentimes increase the flow of energy in our body and help us to feel better. Of course, the Sioux scale can be applied to real energetic problems, and it may not be just as simple as bringing your awareness or your attention to something that feels good. However, in the moment, it can help to oftentimes turn, shift, shift, turn around your, where you're feeling on the scale. And so, you know, energy has momentum. And if we notice that we are feeling negative, to bring more negative energy to it will just continue that momentum to keep going in that direction. But when we recognize where we're feeling, what can we do to raise our energy? What can we do to sort of turn it around so that we will start to come into the positive realm and start to feel better and start to feel more aligned with our truer self, our happier self, our freer self? So I can go on and on about this, but I think that that is enough for today about the Sue scale. Again, our emotions are feedback in our energy body, and the first step in healing the emotions is acknowledging where you're at, embracing yourself completely, and then applying a variety of techniques to start to move the energy, increase the flow of energy, de-stress the system, and begin to heal. I will follow up with additional videos to tell you more specifically how that can be done. But for today, I'm going to sign off. And um, you can, in the link below this video, get a copy of the Sioux Scale if you click on the link. You can go to my website and look at a variety of techniques that will help you to start moving your energy and help you to start feeling more happier, freer, and peaceful in many areas of your life. If you have any questions for me or any insights, I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much for tuning in today, and uh, I look forward to sharing with you again real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.